Hey guys, Josh Carter here, One Objective Outdoors. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on the old Mercury Pro XS, so stay tuned. Alright guys, like I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to be changing the oil on the Mercury 150 Pro XS. This is a four-stroke. Uh, it's a 2023. Um, it, it's going to be pretty easy changing oil, and honestly, it, it's not much to it. Uh, it's just, you know, having basic tools. Uh, I got the oil change kit from Bass Pro Shops right here, and also grabbed a fuel filter. I highly recommend changing your fuel filter regularly on, on boats, um, just because some of the places you get fuel at, dirty fuel, and I did, I've been a mechanic for many years, uh, working on heavy equipment and gas engines, and it always seemed like the biggest cause of issues we always have was fuel related. There's a lot of fuel related issues, so fuel's dirty, so just make sure that uh, you change your fuel filter regularly on these boats. Um, it's just the life of the engine, really, uh, and also the oil. So, uh, but anyways, this whole kit here with the oil, with the um, fuel filter was like $129. Or $120. I can't remember what exactly what it was, but seems kind of steep to me, really. It, it ain't much to it to change any oil, but you know, it, it is what it is. So, um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and dig into this and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. All right, guys. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is take the cowling off of this so we can get to the dipstick, the oil filter, all that stuff. Because when you crack it loose, when you crack the plug loose right here, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, pull the dipstick a little bit to let. You know, so it just pours out quicker. So, um, especially being that it's cold, uh, the oil's gonna be a little bit thicker. It's gonna take a little bit longer for it to come out. If you got muffs and you can put them on and run it and let the motor get warm, you probably could do that. But uh, you know, I don't, I don't have all that. So, anyways, um, we're gonna take the cowling off, and then this plug here, we're just gonna crack it. We don't want to take it all the way out. Um, you can actually see on here, it's got a, a spline fit in there, so you can get you a rubber tubing and put on there. I didn't have that right now. I will next time for the next oil change. Um, but anyways, I have this from, this is actually a um, funnel that I got from uh, like a pressure washer or something and they put it in there, but it actually fits on there pretty good. So I just cut the end of it off a little bit and it fits on there pretty good. So I'm just gonna use that for right now. And like I say, got your oil pan here. Make sure you got an oil pan that can hold about five to six quarts of oil so um, but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and like i said get this cowling off and get that crack loose and we'll get this thing going all right as you notice the cover is pulled up a little bit i had to do that to be able to get to the uh the back lever here so it is nice those covers are really really nice they're vented we do get a lot of questions about this cover uh, it's vented so you can run this cover um, and not worry about you know scratching your boat cover your boat cowling up hitting docks or trees or whatever you know when you're fishing around so it's nice to have but it's kind of pain in the neck getting back on there really really tight so but anyways so here is the oil filter we're gonna go ahead and there's your dipstick all that stuff also if you go here on the other side there's uh just you know some specs here for your engine and it just kind of goes over some things that, you know every hundred hours every 300 hours spark plug stuff you know rpms just just all that how many uh quarts your engine takes so all the information you need is right there you don't even have to pull your uh, manual out and that's where we're going to be adding the oil so but anyways let's go ahead and get this oil uh draining out of here all right so i got my five eights here put that on here I'm gonna try to do this uh, one-handed, so. Oh, there we go, she's loose. There we go. Got a little bit on the motor. We'll wipe it off. It's a little windy today too, so watch the wind and blow it all over. So anyways, we got that draining. I'm gonna open it up just a little bit more and um, let this drain out for a little while and go get a rag and wipe my motor off. Don't forget to pull your dipstick either as well to help help it drain a little quicker. Be careful, it's a little tight. And the wind's gonna wind's gonna make a mess of this today, I have a feeling. I'm gonna block the wind. Alright, now we got all the oil drained out of it. You wanna just wipe everything down, wipe up under here. I like getting a, 
um, a rag and just kind of you know smush it down and just run up in there just to get most of the oil out of that as well so it don't leak you know you have some extra oil leaking on you so this don't have to be crazy tight just snug you don't have to fight it next time and cuss yourself trying to get it off or mess something up so all right now we're gonna go ahead and take the oil filter off of here and this also has a little catch can here and a little drain plug here if you want if you got a hose that you can put on here but like i said i don't have the hose but i will for the next one but anyways it's just a little catch of whatever's left in the oil filter it'll drain here so i'll just take this off and i'll just get me a rag and clean it all out of there what's left in there so and get you a decent oil filter wrench i got one of these um, but they got several different oil filter wrenches you can use you can use the claw ones whatever you want but um just got to make sure that you know you don't punch no holes in it trying to get it off of there and, or, or start stripping it or crushing it or whatever you know so That's pretty simple. It's not a lot of it's not a lot of oil dripping down in there, so you can just clean it up with a rag. You don't even have to get a hose in there, in my opinion. Now, if you've run it and you warmed it up, then yes, you'll you'll need a uh, you'll need a, a hose down in there to drain that out because I'm sure it's going to be right much uh, oil still in the filter. So, so while I had my oil filter off, so it wasn't something that was in the way, right down in here will be one of these, and it's your fuel filter. Now I want to tell you real quick. Uh, let me go over here. So when you pull this out, this O-ring is going to be right here. Mine's busted, so I'm going to have to run to the dealership real quick and get me another O-ring for it um, before I can put it, you know, completely all back together. So, uh, but anyways, I'm going to finish up the oil change and all that, and then I'll show you guys exactly how you take this uh, fuel filter off as well. So basically, you're going to have this little clamp here gonna be a push-in clamp you're gonna take it off there and then your oil, oil filter I mean your fuel filter I mean is uh, right there so thing is when you pull this off when you pull it out it's a little bit of tension on this hose for this fuel filter so I can pull it out it's a little bit of tension on that that line so and you can see the other clip so make sure you're holding on to it really good when you do it and put the other fuel filter on real quick and that way you don't lose that down into your, um, your you might have to take all this cowling off and all that if it drops down in there. So uh, just a little word of advice there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one changed out real quick. And then I'm gonna head up to the dealership and get the other stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil filter, all that on there. So we don't have to worry about contamination in the motor. So I'm gonna get that done. Also real quick, I still got fuel in here. Just gonna let y'all know there is, if you can see it or not, a directional arrow, arrow which way the fuel needs to go so pay attention when you're taking it out that you put your fuel filter in correctly as well hey so when you get the oil change kit this is actually pretty funny and stupid on my part they give you the tube in here <laughs> oh man what a dummy but hey i didn't open it yet i didn't see so uh anyways so you'll have the tube it'll go right there so you don't need to go get a tube it's right there so anyways, just want to let you guys know that. And it comes with all the oil you need. There's my uh, filter. And then they also have, you know, instructions and stuff like that in there. So it is nice getting the oil filter kit. So you, I mean the oil change kit itself because it comes with everything you need. So I just want to give you all a follow up on the tube situation. Now that we got to cover off the oil filter and all that, you also just want to double check. Make sure it is the right oil filter before you start you know putting everything back on but this one is so what i like to do is i'm gonna take a little bit of uh, good clean oil on my finger and i'm just gonna put it around the seal here and just get a little bit of oil on that seal so it just helps it seal a little bit better and it, it, hopefully it won't be crazy crazy tight trying to get take off next time Alright, now that I got that good and hand tight, 
it ain't going nowhere. So I don't like to use, like I say, I've done mechanic work for a long time. I do not like using a full filter wrench or anything to tighten one up, unless it's in a tight spot where you can't get your hand on there good. Well, I use it, I just don't like over tighten. I've seen some bad situations where people's had to drive screwdrivers through filters just to get them off. So I don't like that. Uh, so good hand tight. If you don't feel like you can get it hand tight, you know, if you want to just get like a, uh, a filter wrench and a good one and just put like a maybe a, a, a half a turn, three quarters of a turn or something like that. If you can't, you know, feel like you need to go just a little bit tighter. You gotta be careful because if you don't have the right tool, you can puncture a hole in your filter. And sometimes you won't notice it until you're out running around or whatever, and it can just be a little you know, a little pinhole and it'll just spew the oil out. So you just gotta be careful. Alright, so next I'm gonna take uh, a good clean funnel, put in here, and then we're gonna take the four-stroke 10W30 oil synthetic blend, and we're gonna pour it on in there, and like I say. On your mercury it'll tell you you know how many quarts uh, you need here so anyways we're gonna go ahead and start uh, and start getting this oil put back in here all right we got the uh Oil in. We're gonna put the cap back on. I'm gonna check dipstick. Now, always remember too. Like I'm on just a slight, slight grade here, but always remember too when you when you're doing your oil change, you always want to lower your motor for one and get that good and level. And then two, uh, make sure you know the way you are this way with the boat uh, can reflect on your oil level a little bit. So, um, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and this straight and check your oil. We are good to go. Alright guys, well other than the fact that I have to go get the O-ring, as you can see here, for uh, this little piece here where the uh, fuel filter actually the line will come through the top here and then the o-ring will go right here in this little slot as you can see and it just busted and it tells you on here just pull the filter right here but so when you do when you do your oil change and your fuel filter change i highly recommend when you get your kit and your fuel filter just to go ahead and ask for an extra o-ring you may not need it uh, mine might have just been a defect or whatever you may not need it but it's always good to have one just in case. So, uh, and like I say, mine has right at 45 hours, something like that on it. So, and I was checking my fuel filter as I was draining it out. And it, it had, I mean, I know fuel's dirty, but it had a lot of trash in it. So uh, I highly recommend changing your fuel filter regularly, especially on boat motors. I, I had, you know, a lot of two strokes and all that stuff and fuel filter maintenance was a big deal on those, um, but but definitely on these four strokes as well. So make sure you get that done. So, um, but other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Super easy. If I didn't have to record this, like each step, I could have had this done probably um, with the oil drain and then all that stuff. Cause sometimes it takes a little bit for the oil to drain, but I'm gonna say 20 minutes or less, you could have this all uh, done and, and all that stuff. So um, it, it's super easy. It's a really easy job. And, and like I say, anybody that is, don't even have, a, you know, much mechanical ability i think could knock this out with no problem so other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button hit the like button also check out our last video we did james had a really good event on the river down there near him um caught a really really nice fish so make sure you go check that out and uh and like i said hit that subscribe button guys we'll talk to you later see you